Music, the co-director for Orange County Early Music, also known as OSEM. Today, I will teach you about the differences between the harpsichord and the modern piano. Knowing how a harpsichord, a type of instrument that plucks strings, transformed into a piano, an instrument that hits strings with a hammer, is an important factor to knowing their differences. It all started when an Italian harpsichord maker named Bartolomeo de Francesco Cristofori invented the first piano around the year 1700. It was called a harpsichord that can play loud or soft, or also known as forte piano. Of course, this piano was not fully developed. The inner workings in general stayed the same, but the materials for the outside and inside changed over the years. New types of piano like the grand, upright, and digital pianos came to life, and the harpsichord soon faded away in popularity. To begin, the harpsichord plucks strings instead of hitting strings like a piano does. This is why harpsichords cannot execute dynamics such as forte or piano. For example, the reason the G may have some sort of accent is because it's tricking the ear into thinking that the last note is the loudest. A harpsichord has something that a piano does not have, however, which is another set of keys. When pulled back, these set of keys can play two of the same notes at the same time. When not pulled back, they can play the more tonic sound. Also, harpsichords have two switches. This switch makes a more soft sound in the harpsichord. This switch, however, makes there three keyboards. Or Unfortunately, it gets out of tune very easily, even after a day. The piano has 22 more keys than the harpsichord has, and pedals to make the pianos more dance. For example, is without pedal and is with pedal. The harpsichord also has this, but it's not in what you would think. First of all, a harpsichord must hire somebody to pump air into the harpsichord to give it some sort of damp sound. Also, the piano can express dynamics. The harpsichord was most famous in the Baroque period for its representation of string instruments and because it corresponded well with the organ's imitation of an orchestra. It is clearly obvious that the harpsichord was a big part of Baroque music.